Oh Monica, this is Darling from Germany Doctor. In this video, I will show you how to set the configuration of the handy camera. Okay, uh, when you open the days coming along with the handy camera, I believe you can find a software, a file like this one, MMS config. Okay, then please click, double click the software, double click the logo, then you can see the software is open now and now we can start setting okay first you choose you need to choose the camera mode model uh, please choose hc 300m and then uh, go to the menu here this page you don't need to set uh, much things m many things okay just Keep in mind that um, in the setup and mode column, you have to choose camera, choose camera only, okay? Then go to the MMS column, then please choose on option, then choose auto option in MMS mode, then country. Okay, uh, just choose your country. Since we are in China now, then we will choose China. Then choose your operator. Okay, uh, let's suggest we are in US. You can choose United States. Here, okay. Then um, let's suggest you um, you are using AT&T as your operator of your SIM card. Then you can set the picture number per day. Uh, okay, the default setting is 99 pictures every day per day. Uh, you can also change the number, like for example, 20 pictures. Then um, you don't need to set the GPRS setting because uh, it's default. Okay, then here in the phone setting column, you need to uh, type in, enter your phone number. Uh, please mind that uh, skip the country code. For example, if your phone number is 776 697 10 then just type your number and don't use the country code, okay? Then you can enter your email address here. For example, like this one. Oh, um, in the email, in the email column, we suggest you to use Hotmail. For example, my hotmail. Okay. Um, then we suggest you just to turn on the MMS setting. And when you go to the SMTP setting, you can turn off or just keep on um, okay the MMS setting is the most important okay then when the settings are done then you can click save button right down okay click it and then save the parameter file to your maybe desktop folder okay Then you see there is a parameter file here. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.